Sono una farfalla. Earlier this year, I started studying Italian using a language learning app on my phone. And a couple of months ago, this phrase popped up. Sono una farfalla. I thought it was one of the most joyfully useless phrases that a small green digital owl could teach me. So I repeated it with abandon. I was learning the basics to prepare for a once in a lifetime trip to go to the south of Italy and teach with my friend and teaching mentor, Polly. We were going to go this summer. The other thing that was occupying a lot of my thoughts a couple of months ago was designing a set for the musical production that was going up at the Wilbury Theatre Group in March. Miss You Like Hell was directed by Don Mays and featured a dynamo cast telling the story of a bohemian powerhouse Latina mother who picks her troubled teenage daughter up in the middle of the night in her pickup truck and they go west. Under the impending threat of deportation, they see the country, meet interesting strangers, and get to know each other again. It's like on the road, but with strong women and a plot. Gorgeous music, performed by a phenomenal ensemble. We all really believed in this show. So here we are. I guess I could tell you some features of the set. We decided on a three-quarter round space with no royal seat. Um, instead, we, we plunked this deconstructed pickup truck down where a royal seat would have been. Um, this consisted of a trailer. That's where we stashed the band and uh, a couple of van seats that my friend was going to throw out. So we adopted them and threw some wheels on them, and those were mobile during the production. It was so much fun to see how Don and the actors used these to tool around the stage. Um, a window was cut in the sky to provide the actors an opportunity to play scenes from um, an unexpected location. Um, they use this as a device mostly for illustrating communication over a great distance. Uh, so that was usually cell phone conversations. And there are these ladder walls. These came together at the end to form a wall at the border of Mexico and the United States. It was really important to us that audiences walk away feeling the gravity of the story and also a sense of hopefulness. We opened on Sunday, March 8th, and then on Thursday, all of the entertainment licenses in Providence were revoked. I was getting out of a staff meeting at the school where I teach that day. Um, our head of school had just made a soft announcement about how we might be moving to remote learning soon. Um, I left that meeting, got into my car to go home, did a quick email check on my phone, and the emails had just poured in. Wilbury was closing. Providence Public Library was canceling their grand reopening. I got a cancellation on my ticket to see Jonathan Richmond at the Columbus that evening. 
unconnected to the entertainment license windfall in Providence, um, I found out that my trip to Italy was officially canceled. Right, let's talk about tap dancing. The movements I'm doing here, uh, a lot of this is phrasing that came from a soft shoe number that we all learned last year at Elaine's studio. Our backing track for the performance was an instrumental jazz piano version of Nice and Easy. Say hello to Providence Public Library's gorgeous new theater. Wow. I think when we can safely gather again and wake these spaces up, they will be even more important to us because we have been sorely reminded of how precious our ability to gather in space with one another is. Even as we emerge with caution, faces smiling behind masks, our shared experience will be even more vibrant and expansive because of the way we've changed. Siamo farfalle. We are butterflies.